one of my uh, earliest memories that I feel is a memory. I don't remember playing actually. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have memory of going and playing every day with friends. But what I do have a memory was, uh, uh, I think I fell ill. And my mom stopped me from going out. I think I had one particular friend who would come and check, say, uh, is she going to come out now? Is she ready? So finally, one evening, my mom let me go. Uh, by the time I went to the playground, everybody had left. So it was just the street lamps mm. and the empty swings mm. and me mm. alone. Mm. For some reason, that I remember very, very strongly. I remember the night, I remember the light, and I remember something of a feeling mm. through which I'm always able to access that memory. Uh, was it my first uh, pause? Or, uh, as you said, uh, was it my first sense of an eye? Mm. You know, it, it needed the absence of everything that mm. I was used to for me to just suddenly sense, oh, it's just me. Mm. 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 You know? Mm. Uh, yeah. was when I had just moved to another school mm. um, because we moved a lot in my childhood and like this was another school that I moved to another new city um, but this was in second standard so we were sent to a play area rather than the playground um, and I went to that space and I was just like walking around I was kicking sand I was checking out that space I still hadn't had any um, interactions really with my classmates um, and I saw that the slide was free, so I actually climbed on the slide. Suddenly, when I went on top of the ladder, um, there, was a, there was a moment where I just started looking around, and I just saw this chaos of like lots of children playing, lots of sound, and I was not part of that chaos. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was removed, and I was observing that chaos, mm -hmm. and suddenly I felt like disconnected from that chaos that mm -hmm. I usually mm -hmm. was part of it. And because it was the first time I probably observed it in myself, it was very new and uh, very intriguing. And also it made me wonder if all my other friends or like the people around me, like all the other kids, if they also felt that separateness at that moment. It's like one of those very pivotal moments for me. And yet I don't know why. Yeah. I think cameras must get spoiled in this kind of weather. Huh? Cameras will usually get spoiled in this weather. Yeah, actually. Alas, the lens a lot. You should keep a wet thing to keep my thing. Uh, and it was not like a very, uh, it didn't make me feel lonely or anything. It was a very fascinating sentence. Um, and I I also remember that like through the years I keep going back to this incident. Mm. I've written about it, I've spoken about it to my therapist. My teacher used to, uh, one of my teachers in film school would always tell me if a memory has stayed with you for a long time, usually there is something about it that the, you're still understanding, trying to understand. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You know, and I keep wondering what is it about this particular uh, a state of being and uh, mind that I'm trying to always constantly, I, I do go back to it. Yeah.